please welcome Brother Bo Sanchez. And how many of you believe that God is here in this place? Yeah. Hug someone beside you. Tell that person, I see God in you. <laughs> you know what? I just know that God is a special blessing and surprise for you today. Amen? Amen. I know that some of you are climbing your mountain. Some of you are going through some difficulty some trial, some storm in your life. Some of you are walking in here and you've got a burden in your heart. Some of you, you're going through some marital difficulties. Some of you have a problem with your children. Some of you have a physical health problem. Some of you have a financial difficulty. But whatever mountain you're going through, you're climbing right now. Brothers and sisters, please listen to me. God will not remove the mountain because you need the mountain. Because He wants you to go higher. And the only way to go higher is through a problem, a trial, or a storm. He wants you to go higher. He wants you to become better. He wants you to climb up that mountain. Amen? Amen. And even if He will not remove the storm, this is what He will do. Ask me what? what? He will strengthen you. He will strengthen you so that you will climb the mountain. Because this is not about climbing mountains. This is about climbing yourself becoming a better person than what you were yesterday. Amen? Amen? Tell someone beside you, your victory is coming. Victory is coming. Amen? Amen? Everybody say, I will climb my mountain. <laughs> and if you believe, hallelujah, and if you believe that God is here, and that God will bless you. Say this prayer with all your heart. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, say, Today I receive all of God's love for me. Today I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today I open myself to your blessings, healing, and miracles. Today I open myself so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today I proclaim that I'm God's beloved, I'm God's servant, and I'm God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I will bless the world. When God speaks, miracles happen. And as the Word of God is spoken to your heart, I believe that miracles will happen in your life. We're going to read from Matthew chapter 5, verse 21. Extend your hand towards the Word in expectation and reverence. Thy Word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Verse 21 says, You have heard that people were told in the past, Do not commit murder. Anyone who does will be brought to trial. But now I tell you, if you are angry with your brother or sister, wife, uh, neighbor, mother-in-law, you will be brought to trial. If you call your brother, etc., you good for nothing, you will be brought to the council. And if you call your brother a worthless fool, you will be in danger of going to the fire of hell. So if you are about to offer your gift to God at the al altar, and there you remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there in front of the altar, go at once and make peace. Say, say that with me, make peace. Tell someone beside you, make peace. make peace. With your brother or sister or mother or mother-in-law or neighbor or whoever that is, your boss, your, and then come back and offer your gift to God. Place your hand over your chest. Say this after me. Jesus, I want to make peace. Brothers and sisters, we're at the second talk, second session of our 30-day retreat. This 30-day retreat where we imagine that we have only 30 days to live. And if so, how will we live? And say this prayer after me. Jesus, I want to love. I want to forgive. I want to reconcile. Use these days to make peace. Give me peace in my relationships. In Jesus' name. Amen.
Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a big hand, everybody. Thank you, Father. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Give the Lord a big hand and honor Him and worship Him. Hallelujah. We love you, we love you, we love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to introduce to you one man that doesn't have to imagine. His name is Raldi. And Raldi is a good friend of mine. And he's someone who does not have to imagine that he has 30 days to live because he does not know if he has another day to live. He doesn't know if he has two or three days to live. He's someone who was, you know what, if you think you've got problems, you watch his story in the video now. And you will tell yourself you don't have problems compared to his. I want you to watch it, and I want you to be very inspired. Binigyan lang talaga ako ng just ng ano, ng ng capacity to accept hard things that come my way and forgive those who do that to me. Sa tingin ko ano eh, kahit nung napakadilim ng buhay ko, nakikita ko pa rin may liwanag pa rin eh. Alam mo, sinira mo buhay ko pero I forgive you. Talagang very, very successful kami. Kumbaga parang, we had everything. Successful yung business. Parang sabi nga na iba, parang swerte nyo naman mag-asawa. Apat, tatlo kotse, apat ang kotse, maraming pera. Maraming. Uh, I play golf about three, four times a week. Life was uh, more than winning lotto. Uh, parang freak accident siya eh, na nahulog ako sa golf course. Nagkaroon ako spinal cord injury. Then I broke my back. Tapos, yun, nag-deteriorate na yung... Ayaw, hindi ako nakabok na. Na laminectomy ako. Then, uh, nagkaroon ng misprocedure. Parang nagkaroon ng spinal fluid leak. Yung likod ko. Parang fault ng doctor. Nagkamali siya eh. Parang may misprocedure. To make the long story short, parang sabi sa akin ng doktor, uh, opera na ni kita. Sabi ko, iyo ko na. <laughs> so, I went to another doctor, so, inirepair yung spinal fluid leak ko. But, well, wala eh. So. Yung hindi ako makalakad was just, uh, small fraction of the of my my problem at that time because eh. meron akong marital problem counting financial problem and after the accident talagang nagbago ah uh, syempre parati ka na sa hospital hindi na ako nakapag real estate kasi syempre mahirap so at that time we were living on our savings. We're very fortunate lang na supported ako ng family ko. Ang mahirap sa isang may sakit, pag sinabihan na ng tao ng mahal mo na pagod na siya. And mahirap yung maiwanan ka ng isang taong binigay mo lahat. Walang pinagkaiba yun, parang palubog na yung barko. Yung she jump ship. But sabi ko, kala mo lulubog na yung barko ko, pero hindi mo alam, ang boy ko, ang, ang suporta ng barko ko, ang Panginoon. Eh. Hindi lulubog. Sabi ko, para never ako lulubog dahil ang boy ako, eh. ang boy ako, ang Panginoon. Hindi ka dapat mapagod. Y yun ang point ko dun sa asawa ko dati. Huwag iwanan. 
kailangan kita, Diyos ko, pero hindi kita pwedeng pigilan eh. Ayaw mo na, hindi kita pwedeng pigilan. Sabi niya sa akin, ano, ano, eh, hindi kita may iwanan dahil niisip ko ibang tao na sasabihin nila. But ultimately, she things got worse na we had to separate. We knife out nila yung bahay ko. Grabe. Pati pati nab. Pati nab ng aparador. Pati siguro mga daga, pusa. Dala nila lahat. Sabi nga ng mami ko nung umuwi siya galing Amerika tapos nakita niya. Sabi ko, sabi niya, akala ko anak sa sa ano lang to, sa pelikula nangyayari. But it happened to me. It happened to me. It took years for me to be able to forgive my 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 ex-wife. And right now, uh, I can honestly say I forgive her. When I'm at rat, uh, rock bottom, pag nandun na ako sa kasama kong Panginoon doon. Parati ko nang sinasabi, pag may problema, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Parati ko sinasabi yun. Pag nahinaan ako ng loob, sinasabi ko yun dahil alam ko, what can be worse with the things that has happened in my life? Hindi ka makalakad na walang ka ng pera, tinurotot ka, kinaliwa ka ng asawa mo, iniwan ka, hindi yung makita yung pamilya, eh, yung mga anak mo. Binigay sa'yo in one serving, in isang, isang buhos, isang simultaneous binigay sa'yo. Hindi ako natinag, hindi, hindi ako bumigay dahil sabi ko nga, yung ship ko, yung, yung vapor ko, hindi lulubog dahil ang boy ako, ang Panginoon. Kasi ako, alam ko, ang Diyos, hindi naman ang papagod eh. Never akong iniwanan ng Panginoon ko eh. Parating yung sinasabi, nandiyan ako. Sa tingin ko nga, yung madilim, nandun siya sa akin. Sa tingin ko, ako sa tingin ko, nung madilim, mas lalo siyang nandun sa akin eh. The harder your life is, the stronger the light is. How I wish I could be there with you now to share with you my my experiences and my thoughts but unfortunately uh, I'm still in the hospital but uh, Bo asked me to give a short message and I hope uh, I'll able to in spite of my condition I'll be able to impart some some nice things. First, yung acceptance. Kailangan uh, ma-accept mo yung sitwasyon mo. Ako, alam niyo ba, ang hirap eh, kasi naka-wheelchair ako, parati akong masama pakiramdam, parati kang may lagnat, di ka makakain, parati kang nasa hospital. Kailangan i-accept mo yun eh. Kasi kung hindi mo i-accept yung sitwasyon mo, pa- paano ka mabubuhay? Ako, in ko na eh. in ko na na ganito ang buhay ko eh. Pero, hindi ibig sabihin na ganun na lang hindi maganda magiging buhay ko kasi in ko na naka-wheelchair ako. Pero, may mga benefits din naman. in ko na ganito na lang ako Pero, I have to move on and make the most of it. Uh, hindi naging hindrance ang pagiging disabled ko to be able to work. Uh, in fact, uh, you should always be an inspiration to people na in spite of uh, your physical situation, you're still able to to make a good living and support your family at the same time uh, give employment to people trust parati kong sinasabi na nagtatrust ako sa Panginoon alam ko na there's a reason why 
I'm going through what I'm going through now. It's so hard. Mahirap eh. Mahirap isipin na ganito physically, emotionally. It's so draining. Napakahirap. Right now, I'm into dialysis. Hirap na. Ang hirap. Parati uh, kang nasa antibiotics. In and out of the hospital. Pero I trust that there's a reason for me na nandito sa sitwasyon na to. Maybe the reason is ngayon lang. Ngayon, ngayon. Ang rason lang is ngayon panahon na to nakapagsalita ako, nabigyan ko kayo ng inspirasyon. And I've done my thing. After the storm, after the turmoil in your life, as long as you trust in Him. Sinabi ko, Lord, bahala ka na. Sige, kung anong gusto mo sa akin, okay lang. Alam niyo, nagpaalam na ako. Paalam na ako sa pamilya ko. Paalam na ako sa kanila. Lahat na ng taong sinabihan ko na gusto kong malaman nila na mahal ko sila. Sinabihan ko. Ikaw, kapatid, walang wala kang sakit, wala kang masyadong problema. Isn't it the right time for you to say, 